governor or as a mayor or as little Miss Jamie Butler over here, you don't have your own agenda. You push the agenda of your people. And she is supposed to be pushing the agenda for us people, and she's not. We didn't want Trump impeached, not at all. Not at all. We did not want Trump impeached, and she's wrong. She doesn't even live here. Did you guys know that? Did you guys know she doesn't live here? She lives in Washington, D.C. So how can she be a voice for the people of Washington if she's not even living here? Glory to God. I'm here today to show my support for everyone here that agrees with me that Jamie Herrera Butler is a thief because she took my campaign donations. She lied and said she was going to help us in our cause. And she's a traitor because she turned around and voted to uh, impeach Trump. And that was unconstitutional. And then she was willing to lie to Congress about him in a false conversation. But she lied. And she betrayed us, she's and she stole our campaign. So you know. She's going to twist your words so later, just so you know, on her uh, news website. All I got to say is she's a liar and a traitor. So is this liar, person? thief, and traitor. That's all I got to say. He is mighty to save forever. My mom's almost 91 years old. He rose and my mom the grave. felt about Jesus her almost like she was a child to my mom. Well, we just shine your light loved her and raised yeah. her. And every time I'd come down, we live up north. We're singing and and every time I'd come down, my mom would say, you know, you remember Jamie? And I'm like, yes, Jesus, mom, I remember Jamie. I know how much you love her. I love her too. I loved her because my mom loved her. And my mom donated to her. And... I don't know how much, but I know it was enough. And now my mom's so sad. She feels so betrayed. You know, we loved our president. And uh, I guess Jamie did her so. She made that very loud and clear. And I think we need to make it very loud and clear that it's time for Jamie to go. It's been a crazy 30 days for me because I haven't done anything. It's been crazy. I've been sitting around. I've been thinking. A lot of things have changed in our country, especially since January 6th. And I've, I've been doing a lot of reflecting. I've been thinking about a lot about where we're going to go in this country. And I'm here to tell you, I don't know the plan for this country. Okay? It's tempting to get afraid. It's tempting to lose hope. But I'm here to tell you, I'm here to declare that God does have a plan, ladies and gentlemen. He does have a plan. I don't know what it is, but I'll tell you the one thing. Losing hope is not part of his plan. Okay? Living a life of fear is not the plan from God. That is what the people at the top want us to be. They want us to be afraid. They want us to be afraid to go out like this, to voice our opinions. But we will not be silent. Is that right? The establishment in the Republican Party is no different than the Democrats. Do you guys agree with that? In fact, they are a bigger threat, okay? Because they run around and they pretend to be conservatives like Jamie, but at the end of the day, if you look at her voting record, she's never been conservative. She never has, she never will be, okay? And so the thing is, is these Republicans, Trump was a threat to these Republicans in the establishment. Do you understand that? Because like I said, he, he did create an insurrection, an insurrection of the Republican Party, okay? We went in there and took it over, and they saw the Capitol, as an the Capitol siege as an opportunity. The Republicans saw that as an opportunity. And they saw that as an opportunity not after it happened, but before it happened. They knew that there was a threat going up to that day. They knew it. Nancy Pelosi knew about the threat, and she had half of the police leave the Capitol that day. Okay? I want you to think about this. I want you to think about this. At the very least... At the very least, they stood down and allowed those people to go into the Capitol. Huh? Who do we want out of office? Jamie. One more time? Jamie. I would actually think that all politicians need to be out of office at this point in time. Uh, they aren't doing any of us any good. So, Joey asked me to speak today, and the thing that actually keeps coming to my heart is community. 
We're here as friends, family, but most of all, we're here as community. We need to stand up for community because the establishment that Joey talked about, he's, he's exactly right. He's at, they're after us. They're after us because once they can silence us, then there's nobody else that can stop them. So we have to come together as a community. We have to educate ourselves on our rights that they're stripping from us because we have given them consent because we don't know what our rights are. We have to educate ourselves. And I'm not so much concerned about the guy that's sitting in the big white house in D.C. It's the local politicians. It's the local. Our state constitution is more important than the federal constitution. God, it's good to see you guys out here. My name is Tiny. Um, <laughs> I know, my real name is Tuzi Tala John Tuafo'ale Al-Turila Nito Isi from the beautiful island of American Samoa. And uh, I'm out here to take a stand with y'all. And uh, don't get me wrong, this is beautiful. But uh, I was just standing there thinking about something. The change don't start here. It starts from inside your household. It starts from raising your family and organizing your family. Raise your kids the right way. Bring back American values. That's where the change starts. Let's raise up these future congressmen. Let's raise up these future presidents right here to take over this country back. I am really sick and tired of Jamie Herrera Butler. I've not enjoyed voting for her for the last 10 years, but when I, I thought the biggest embarrassment to her was when Ted Cruz was getting in, uh, interviewed a week ago, I think it was yesterday when this whole you know, the main part of the fiasco of second impeachment was coming out. I don't know if any of you guys noticed it. Do you remember what Ted Cruz, Senator Ted Cruz, referred to our representative as? She's been there for 10 years and he called her Jessica. That's how big of, that's how big of an impact she's had. She's been there longer, I think, than him and he didn't even know who she was.